But Fastlane in itself, so because Fastlane was supposed to be Peacock exclusive, uh, it was supposed to be quite a big pay-per-view, like a little mini mania beforehand. And it's not now because it's not Peacock exclusive because the Peacock deal keeps changing because they keep, they, they don't have the, the technology or the know-how as to how they're going to transfer the existing payers over. They don't, because they don't want people to unsubscribe and rely on them on re, re, re subscribing because they have so many dormant accounts that they're collecting money from. There's, there's nearly, there's like 200,000 people that haven't logged in for six months and they're getting their money and they haven't canceled. So if they tell those people, um, to re, if they just smart them up, hey, you're paying for this, yeah. you're not even using it, they're they'll just lose it. all yeah. that money. Yeah. Exactly. So they're trying to find a way to, to transition over smoothly without um, having to get those people to re enter their credit card details. Can you imagine, so, and I've, I've always said this, that we always look at like a guy like Tony Khan's the money mark, and stuff, but, but bro, these networks are the money marks. Can you believe that they went into a deal this big and they did not, they did, they have not figured that part out of it yet, which represents, what, what a, a 10% chunk of their money? Yeah, I mean, I, I had loads of info on this deal. Um, did you guys watch UFC? Did you watch UFC, Billy? Did I, yeah, I mean, I, I did, I'm, I'm dropping UFC service temporarily because I'm not, I didn't do well with it at all. Right. Um, yeah, that's, that's, I, I, the, that's, I like, the guy we had, the big guy that we had against the uh, the the, uh, the African guy. His like defense was like just atrocious. <laughs> I was like, I was like hard to watch. I was like, oh, this guy's gonna get knocked out unless he knocks this other guy out pretty soon. So. Me- Megan Anderson, Megan Anderson could have got out of that first round. She just, she was just scared from the second. Scared start. to death, just like Holly Holm. Those people get frightened when they're when they're like they, you could see the fear in their eyes. You know, I right, see. So got it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I've got it up now. Okay, right, um, okay. So to run through the Peacock deal, um, just for just the basics of it, uh, NBC it's NBC streaming platform. Uh, they secured the US rights to the network. The official announcement from WWE described the deal as a multi-year deal with the Wall Street Journal, the ones who said the contract is valued at one billion dollars over five years. So uh, it's reported that under the agreement, this was what I wrote before. Uh, the network app is going to be shut down. There's delays on that, though, because the network app was supposed to shut down on the day of Fastlane, but that's not happening at the moment. Um, it had 1.5 million subscribers on it currently, and those guys are supposed to be migrated over to Peacock. But at the moment, they don't know how to do it without telling these people that they're paying for something that they're not using. And um, so, it, and, and also, in addition to that, only 1.1 million of those are actually U.S., um, this is a five-year lease of content, so they don't own the WWE library. Five years, um, WWE uh, have it back again if, if they don't renew. Um, this gets really interesting in a second. This is all the basic stuff. So we talk about money now. Uh, WWE currently make $180 million a year on the network, which is with the 1.1 million, subs- 1, 1.1 million of those are U.S. subscribers, and that's the only country that's shutting down. So the network still maintains 400,000 international international subs. So the way that breaks down is this means WWE go from making $180 million from this deal to $248 million from the deal. So that's $200 million now coming from Peacock and $48 million that they maintain from international subscribers, the UK, Australia, etc., um, you can stop me if you want to ask anything at any point. Um, Nick Khan, who's the guy that does all these deals, we've been talking about him on Russo show for about six months, and now the dirt sheets have realized who he was. But we knew ages ago who he was. He replaced George Barrios. Uh, Nick Khan is planning to do similar deals worldwide and sell WWE Network to other platforms. Canada have never had WWE Network. They've always been on Rogers, which is a cable channel. And uh, India have never had Network. They've always been on Sony. So you have to have Sony or Rogers in Canada or India to get the network. That's now going to be the situation in the States with Peacock. Uh, they're going to try and do the same deal here in the UK um, with BT. That's a question. Okay. How good, of a, how good of a deal is this for Vincent Mann? <laughs> this just sounds like he's just ripped these people off. <laughs> well, that's, that's, I mean, that's what it sounds like. Does it, not, Cody, does it not sound like that? The maths is there. The hunt, it's a $68 million per year deal. They've gone from 180 to 248. Uh, because they've maintained their international subscribers, and they've got a twenty million, twenty million more from Peacock for what than what they were getting from the U.S. subs. So, so yeah, it's a, it's worth sixty eight million dollars per year. That's what it's worth. Plus, it's plus also you've got Peacock. As I, as I move on with the fruity notes, they're 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 a place with so they've 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 garnered seventeen thousand hours of content, 
but they don't know how to distribute it evenly. So you're going to have to wait till SummerSlam. It's going to be put out during, um, you know, in, in, intermittently throughout throughout um, throughout now and SummerSlam because they don't know how to just dump seventeen thousand hours on their on their platform. They might not even figure right. it out. SummerSlam. So what WWE also getting is that this this place have thirty three million subscribers that are going to now have a- access to the network. Uh, only four percent of those thirty three million subscribers pay the full the full nine ninety nine, and that's what they're trying to boost up. Boost up. That's why they've got WWE uh, WWE Network there because um, Peacock have a four ninety nine version and a nine ninety nine version, which is commercial free. They're counting on WWE wrestling fans wanting to have the existing version of the network without the adverts. Uh, they don't know this fan base though. This is a fan base that the re- the, the wrestling community are the least likely to put their hand in their pocket. Like there's there's very little money in wrestling. If they can get it for four ninety nine and suffer through ads, this fan base will pay four ninety nine. They're, they're really is, this, is, there, is there is that an opinion? Or do we have studies on stuff like that? Opinion, my opinion. opinion? I, I would go. Do, what do you think of that? Do, do, would you agree with that, Conan? What that the fan base would like be willing to like wrestling fans when they do the switch are going to drop down and, and get the four ninety nine version with ads instead of the uh, nine ninety nine. Do you think wrestling fans will pay pay less or pay the same? Or are they like? But Billy, this is my my question. Because these people, this wrestling family is kind of like inclusive and support wrestling and like would, you know, go the anti streaming when the pay per views are on. Like, do you think they'll kind of like see it as maybe like they, they need to contribute to the boys type thing? I don't think WWE fall into that. Like, you know, when we had, we had ECW, you know, who were kind of the third brand, people would chant ECW. They, they would chant, they would chant, you know, I don't know if they chant AEW or what. I think they do chant AEW. They're, WWE is seen as this big monopoly. Like they don't have that 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 kind of support where you never see someone chanting WWE. Do you know what I mean? It's like right. I don't think, I don't think that, that they have those ties where they're considered to be this up and coming alternative. So I don't think they have that. I think that I don't think that they'll be supported. I don't think people care about the boys either. I think also like obviously with the WWE contracts and the downside on those. Um, this is the interesting thing. It is it's like contrasting reports. I don't know if Conan knows anything about it, but. Um, they've been saying that, like, uh, in order to even get your downside this year, that um, every everything has a minimum number of dates in for each downside. So, for example, it'd be like around about 150 dates. With no house shows and Oscar only working 54 dates, with, with that Oscar being the most. So, the, the person who worked the most last year was Oscar. She got 54. Was it really? Days. Yeah, she worked, she did 54 days last year. That she really? basically appeared on every television in 2020. So that was obviously due to the fact that all the, there was no house shows after February because right. of what happened with the pandemic, etc. So I don't know how that works on the downside guarantee because the, so in order to get your downside guarantee, there's an there's an injury there's an injury downside guarantee where they pay you while you're injured a, a little amount and then they roll it over. Like we had a situation with Ray Mysterio who couldn't get out of his contract because he owed them dates where he was injured. We saw the same thing with other people as well. Um, so I don't know how that works because nobody nobody hit the minimum. In fact, like everybody was about a hundred dates short of the minimum amount they were supposed to work. So I don't know what these guys got paid last year. So in the end, when like Riddle was coming in on a four hundred thousand dollar guarantee, and everybody was saying he was getting lowballed, and Ali on two hundred and fifty lowballed. Yeah, people. Riddle, like, four. That's- so, so what? So, so go and focus. So, what are the like, what are like the top five matches for wrestling? They're doing two two nights. Let, so let, me, many, like, let me finish the Peacock though, because there's something really okay, interesting okay, I'm going to I'm gonna get to that you'll be interested in. It was a hundred percent. So, um, the the day that I spoke about earlier, where uh, it's Peacock has thirty million subscribers, and only four percent are on the only four percent pay the nine ninety nine. So they, they want obviously more of that. So that data means that Peacock are reliant on an ad market to generate revenue for streaming. So they're not competing with YouTube and TV networks. They're not competing with Disney Plus, Netflix, HBO, because they're all ad free. So their strategy still represents that of a TV network. Um, so we're moving down. I've got a quote here from a guy who says, uh, John Orand of uh, Sports Business Journal. And he said, um, they had their WWE network. It plateaued pretty quickly. They're finding it difficult to grow. I think they didn't necessarily like owning their own network, so to speak. It's tougher than it looks. Nick Khan has done basically has done is basically taking it from a growth engine for WWE and turned it into billions of dollars over five years. 
and gets a nice little piece of it. So he's making out that Khan is on a percentage of this. Um, Khan is a guy who came over from a, a company that used to negotiate WWE's TV deal. Khan got them the Fox deal, but he did it through the company that he worked for. I think it's IAA. Uh, is it IAA or AAA? And then Vince hired him, right? Yeah, and Vince stole him away from the company to just so that he wouldn't have to uh, give the 15% to the company instead. He would just have to pay his employees employ as an, an employee fee. So, <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> I mean, bro, this guy's like Vince McMahon is such a boss. You know, just he's like just playing chess with, with these with these TV companies in their pantry. Bro, these TV companies, like they, this is in, in to put everything in perspective. I don't know See, how he does it, but 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 listen to this. You have a major network. It's given a professional wrestling company forty million dollars a year in TV rights. This TNT given 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 AEW. Vince McMahon's negotiated. 200 for Fox, 240 for Raw, and 200 for Peacock. And it's like, this guy's going, <laughs> it's like, how can you compete with this guy? You know, he's just like, just, just brilliant at making money. You know, well, and I, it's, it's people, amazing. Go ahead. The people, the hire, the people hired are brilliant at making money. I think all these guys that have come in, I mean, just getting. Smart. Getting, he's hiring the right people. <laughs> right. Getting yeah. Nick on from CIA is a big deal. So this is where it gets, this is, this is the interesting part that I was waiting to, to get to. So this deal is just seen as a as the first deal in the in the line of things that for in terms of TV. You know that this week he's moved on and done this deal, and now he's trying to secure a deal with the NHL, the NBA, and the NFL as well. That's what he's that's what his next deal is. Do you know what that's for? No. That's to sell the plates for the title belts. You know that they give to teams? Yeah. Right? They want to do a deal with every single sport every single sports organization to sell the the, the sports plates on the foot of the They title. get a WWE they get a rest, they get a sports entertainment title. No, That's no, no. Just, how smart is that? It's going to be the regular WWE title that they have now. The ones that they give away to sports teams when they win things, like the Stanley Cup. They're just going to give like instead of like they're just going to give the WWE like the like the WWE championship. You don't see this when when any team wins. Have you never seen this before? No, no, I've seen this. Hunter Hunter gives the bell. Team. That's like, yeah. Yeah. But, well, they, don't they do that anyway? What is this like? Another another you negotiate a rights deal for that? They need a right still for that. They don't do that anyway. At the moment, they only do the plates for like you know the wrestlers. So Drew, Braun Strowman, Bray Wyatt, they've all got their little plates to go around the outside. So you can. So the belt is already like as you know four hundred, three hundred dollars or whatever, and it comes with WWE side plates. So they're going to do a deal for the side plate. So it's going to be seventy five dollars for a Lakers plate, seventy five dollars for a Packers plate, whatever. So like yeah, this is a monster deal if they get to over the line. But here's here's the part I wanted to just get to, and we'll move on to Mania. <laughs> So this deal, oh, just real quick, Conan is a promoter, right? When you hear stuff like this, or you are you thinking like Jesus? What this guy's like? Because you think genius. outside, you think outside the box too. Yeah. Like you're yeah. getting social media influencers, and there's like yeah. the new, like you got to be ahead of the game and stuff. But right. this guy is just like he's like getting the people that make the deals and hiring them to make his deals, and he's just like <laughs> just bulldozing his way through this stuff. You know, it's crazy. That's why that's why the product is set the the TV show is secondary. Yeah. People like moan about the crave. It's like, well, it's, it's like, disappointing for the fans. It's like, despite the fans' reaction to the way your product is presented on TV, you are just still just making money, like, like from them tooth and nail. But, but still, you know? the yeah. thing is, Billy, you want to, you know, you also want to keep in mind that if uh, even TV is secondary, it behooves you to have a good TV show because mm-hmm. everything derives from that. And if yeah, because you're doing well, but you can be doing so much better. Right. And even people, though you're doing great. And, you know? Which means yeah. making more money, more money, more money, right? Yeah. And so it behaves you to have a good product. Yeah. So what's this big spot here? So here it is. So internally, this deal now is viewed as a stop cap. The next thing that they want to do is once this, once this deal is done, they want to re-up again with Peacock or have a similar deal with somebody else. But – they only plan to this time give them the full library again, so 17,000 hours, with B pay-per-views, and they want to sell first-run showings of, of the Royal Rumble, SummerSlam, WrestleMania, and Survivor Series, which they still think is a pay-per-view commodity, to a different company. So basically, to, to, make, to, make, to, make, that more like, to make that more basic, for example, if they do renew with Peacock, they will renew everything that they're doing now Except when you want to watch the Raw Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, it will go on Peacock a week later. The first run programming of the Raw Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series will go to somebody else. ESPN and it's Plus. 
It, it's I'm interesting. Hearing. Say, is, already, is that one of the names you're hearing? Already in the zone and ESPN will fight for it because they already fight each other for everyone. They these are the two companies that have the the separate contracts of Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, Monte Wilder, like they're all in different places. This is why super fights are not happening in boxing because the zone and ESPN have separate fighters and um, they'll 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 fight for anything combat right. WrestleMania will will can one hundred percent end up on the zone or ESPN.